Look, 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 look. There's one. There's one coming up. Another nice one here. Look at that. Like I said, guys, these tiger girls are ready, so we're gonna let them out in three, two. Let's go, tiger girls. Oh, Suki's out first, then Bindi, and now Sarah. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, we're on the boat. I'm with my friend Austin. He's gonna be helping me out fishing today and filming a little bit for me, at least for the beginning part of the day. I don't know if he's gonna stick around for the end, but maybe he will. We got some pretty cool stuff happening today. I'm Landon Cher, if you guys don't know, and today we are gonna be feeding live fish to tigers. I've never done it before with them. It should be really good enrichment, but the first step to all this is catching some fish, which is why we are out here on the boat. We're actually at a really good spot right now. You guys can't see it, but there are tons of colorful fish below us. Austin's gonna pour in some water right there. We're looking to catch about 10 fish right now, so with that being said guys, let's get some lines into the water and see how many fish we can catch. The trick to all of this, what we'll be using today, nature's own bread. This is not sponsored by any means, but this is what it takes to get them up. You get a little ball, you just throw it down. Well, you want it to sink down to them, so you gotta really throw it. That'll sink down there, chum them up, and then hopefully we'll be able to get some fish up for you guys to see before we catch them. We're gonna catch them put them into the cooler, take them back to the zoo, and then these tigers should go crazy. Stick around to the end though, because we could catch anything right now. Here in these South Florida canals, there's turtles, there's invasive fish, including the cichlids we're catching today, peacock bass, clown knife fish, arowanas sometimes, who knows what you'll catch out here. So guys, just stick around and see what we're gonna catch because you're not gonna wanna miss any of this. Look, 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 there's one. There's one coming up. Oh, did you see him? Dude, there's a ton of fish down there. There's a ton of fish down there. <laughs> the fish are all chummed up now, so I have my little bread ball on a hook. It's not too complicated, guys. If you come down here to South Florida, you can basically go to any canal system, use some bread, and catch some crazy stuff. Now, there could be a big carp to hit this, but most likely, it's gonna be a cichlid. Let's see, do we have one yet? Oh, there we go, I just got a hit. Well, we had some technical difficulties. I was grabbing a water snake and I missed it and I sliced my finger open. So there's that, always something going on. But guys, we are in the money. There are fish everywhere right here. It's taken us a while, but look, we've gotten ourselves our first fish. I don't want to lose him right here. He's covered in swamp algae. Oh my gosh, look at that beast. Ignore my finger there. Look how crazy his eyes are. Look how beautiful this fish is. But guys, this fish is sadly gonna be food for the tigers today because these fish are invasive. They're not from here in Florida. They're overtaking our waterways. And well, we wanna give the tigers some enrichment. They'd be eating chicken or some other type of animal anyway. So they have to eat meat. So something is gonna have to, you know, die for them to eat. It's just the circle of life. and. We don't want these fish to suffer. We're gonna put them in this little cooler right here. These tigers are gonna have so much fun eating these fish as if they were in the wild. It's such good enrichment for them and that's why we're doing it for them. Having these animals in captivity, you need to have activities like this to just keep their heads going the right way, keep them active, keep their minds to where they're actually hunting as if they're in the wild. So if you guys can't handle watching this, then I'm sorry. And just try to watch some other cool videos on the channel. We have so many other fun videos that don't involve little fish getting hurt, but this is a really cool video and I can't wait to see how happy the tigers are when they start chasing these things around. Guys, oh, look at that. Oh, we almost dropped him. Big turtle just came up here in the grass. This is where they would hunt, and you can see just how well he blends in. Look at that. Big old yellow belly slider, native to Florida. Got all this crazy moss growing on his back. That helps him blend in, as I was saying. So, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna let him go right here. Let him back on his way. Austin's hooked up. Look how orange that fish is so crazy but guys again they do not belong here they're competing with our native fish so that is why we are taking them with us today open the box there Woo! look at that another nice one here 
All right, guys, so we have left the canal. We have all the fish that we need, and now, as you can see, we're here with the beautiful tiger girls. They smell the chicken that I have. We have Sukino, Bindi, and Sarah over there, the beautiful tiger girls. Hi, girls. They're talking, saying, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go give them this chicken as we put them in their lockouts, so that way we can go in the cage and clean this pond. This pond is a little dirty. I wanna clean it to make sure that it's crystal clear blue so we can see all these fish. These ponds just get so dirty so quickly here in South Florida with the heat and the sun. The algae builds up so quick and these kids love playing in it. So it gets dirty really quick and we have to switch it out. So like I said, what we have to do is put these cats away so that we can go in there, pump out the water, and then this pond will be ready for our fish. Come on girls, let's go. Come on, come on. Sarah's coming in the back. You can get her beautiful golden tabby tiger. And then Tsukino here is a snow tiger. And we got Bindi, the royal white spangled tiger. Beautiful kids here. All right, so the pond is being pumped out now and all of that green nastiness, cat water is going over here to the other side, just being pumped out fertilizing the plants. So once that's done, we'll fill up the pond with some more water and put the fish in. And would you look at that? Ain't that a beautiful thing? The pond is spotless now, thanks to the help of Austin and Brian. So now, all we gotta do is fill it up. Let her rip. There she goes. So the pond is over there. It's almost all filled. We're gonna get some fish and start filling it up. I'm gonna pull out one right now. Look. This. Ooh. Guys, these fish are lively. They are ready to go. Look at that. I don't know if I said the name of them before. Midas Cichlid. We're gonna put them in here. We're just gonna take two at a time right now. We have about eight fish. Guys, look. Ooh, it's okay, you're okay, buddy. These guys do have some little teeth. Put them in there. Let's bring them over to the pond. Now the pond, is about half full right now, which is I think where we're gonna leave it because we don't really have so much time. The sun might go down. We're gonna get these fish in here. You can see it's nice and blue. Look at that. There they go. Let's get the rest of these fish in here. Let these tiger girls out and see what happens. Comment down below right now what you guys think is about to happen because really and truthfully, these tigers have never had a live prey item. We can't really do it in the zoo, but with fish, it really is the best way to do it. They'll be able to chase them around, use their energy, just like giving your dog a toy. With these tigers, to get them out here like this is gonna be awesome, so I can't wait to see what happens. As you can see, the fish are all in the pond. And guys, these tigers are ready to go, so we're gonna go and let them in now. Like I said, guys, these tiger girls are ready, so we're gonna let them out in three, two. Let's go, tiger girls. Oh, Suki's out first, then Bindi, and now Sarah. They know something's up. They don't know exactly what's going on right now. Sarah's following us. Oh, she's going straight for the water. They see it, they see the colors in there, and they don't know what that is. Out of all three girls, Bindi is the hunter. Get it, Bindi. She's going in. They don't really know what to do with them yet, but as they're running away, it just becomes natural to chase them around. Suki and Bindi are pawing at them. They don't really know what to do. Oh, now they're starting to get a little more ferocious. I think she's got it. Bindi's got one. Bindi's got one there, guys. Look at that. Oh, and she's off. She's off with her fish. Bindi's over there in her corner with her fish. She's proudly earned. Sarah, Sarah hasn't earned anything. Sarah has not gone in the pond at all. She's like, I'm perfectly fine over here, which is fine. Bindi is over here with her catch. Look at that, guys. Now, I know it is a little bit sad to see the fish like this, but these cats would be eating chicken or another animal anyway, so they are carnivores, and this is what they'd be doing in the wild. This is what they need in captivity. She's chewing it. Look at her go. 
Like I said, Bindi is the hunter out of all these cats. So I knew that Bindi was going to get her share of fish and probably be the first one to crunch down on one of these guys. Suki's got one. Suki's got a fish. Suki's still working on hers and Sarah is starting to come into the pond. She's still unsure about it. She's leaving. Suki is still working on her meal. I mean, I don't know what her deal is. These fish are all kind of scared over here, poor things. We're gonna get those out and put them in the other pond. But guys, with that being said, that is it for today's video. I hope all of you guys enjoyed this video. I'll let you know what happens in the next video, how many fish they were able to eat. Comment down below right now how many you think they are gonna eat by the looks of all of this, and I will see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.